Welcome back to another video on the channel. We have literally just finished filming the Audi B6 steering rack video, so if you haven't seen that already, go and check that out. I'll leave a tag for it up in the corner. This video, we're getting straight cracking on a, a little Mazda MX-5, and it's, what is it, an NB or an NC? One of the newer ones, but they've got a common fault with changing between second and third gear, they get a bit crunchy. There's an online fix for it. Some of the guys say this oil for America is the miracle cure for it. Let's bring the car in, get stuck into it, and see if it actually helps the problem. Right, so the first part of this repair, I don't know if it's completely necessary or not. I can't actually see how this would cause any of the issues. This is mere for your reverse gate, but we've got one and we've been asked to fit it, so we will. So this is a gear selector plate. In order to fit this, you need to take the center console out. So clips into the front, your knob and screws, a screw at the cup holder, two screws at the back, and the whole center console will come out. A couple of 10 mil bolts, take the gear gator boot off, take the rubber off, and then this reveals the gear selector plate and as you can see that's three ten mils in there it is pretty dusty in here and i tried to have a wee look to see what was causing it but i can't even really see it it almost looked like it looks like foam that's breaking up um but there's there's no foam Yeah, there's no foam. The inside of this is all rubber. And the inside of the leather boot's okay. So I'm not exactly sure where all that debris is coming from. But I gave it a blowout to get rid of it, so we'll slot the new one in. That's a nice, quick, easy job. Make sure it sits right. There's, um... There's two wee locators on there. If you see in there, there's a plastic ring and there's two wee locators at 6 o'clock and 12 o'clock and they hook into the bottom here. So you need to make sure that lines up properly. There we go. Now we'll bolt that back in. And that's the first step done. Right, there we go guys, nice easy one. The interior is all back together couple of screws and then a bit of infinity wax finale just to clean it up and that's that bit changed like i said i'm not 100 percent convinced that this is going to solve any issues as this only seems to be the reverse gate selector so that you don't go into first but yeah we've changed it it's done next up we'll drain the gearbox oil now luckily this is all still hot because the subscribers only just dropped it off so we'll get it jacked up, up on axle stands, and we'll get the fluid straining out of it already. For this, you're going to need some of this. This is apparently the miracle cure. So this Redline gear oil, MT90, you can only buy it in America. Um, I'll leave a link for it in the description so you guys can see it. But apparently this solves all the issues on an MX-5 gearbox. Obviously it's sold in quarts, which is just short of a litre. Yeah, so you're going to need three of them. And then the diff oil. We've got the Redline shockproof gear oil as well, fully synthetic. And then we've also got some washers to replace the sump plugs and filler plugs when we've taken them out. So let's get it up on axle stands and get the fluid straight in. interruption as you guys know we're doing the veterans rally to gibraltar we are supporting the rally we're the mechanical support for the 32 plus teams going on this so we want your help to raise as much money as we possibly can to help out the veterans 
give as much to the Blind Veterans UK as we can and also raise some money for cancer research in the process. So remember guys, we've still got the Sealy tools up for grabs. There's a half inch set, a quarter drive set. There's still loads of tickets available for that. I think we've sold over 150 tickets so far, which is amazing. So the links for that will be in the description below. Guys, the links are below for Blind Veterans UK and for Cancer Research. It's a minimum £5 donation on the GoFundMes. If you don't want to do that, stick a £1 ticket on one of the Sealy tools because all the proceeds for that go to the charity as well. Right guys, remember if you're going to be doing this in your driveway, make sure you've got axle stands everywhere. We've got them all in the car, so I'm perfectly safe under here. Before you go draining your gearbox fluid, make sure you can loosen the filler plug first. I've seen so many people drain a gearbox and no be able to fill it. So I've cracked both of these loose. This one's your drain, this one's your filler. This is a nice easy job. I'll show you how we're filling it in a minute. You might need a wee hand pump for this. We've got another wee setup that works really well. So start by draining it. And obviously this drain plug has got a little magnet on it. So it picks up any shards of metal in your gearbox. This has got a couple of wee bits on it, but I wouldn't say it's excessive. So that looks like normal gear wear and tear. Let's take the filler plug out and see if we can get this draining a bit smoother. Oh, there we go. Now, he did say that the gearbox oil was only done last year, so this is pretty fresh, but it's just standard gearbox oil. This red line stuff we've got is supposed to be amazing, so all we can do is try it and see if it helps. Let's go and put some new washers on these before we put them back in, and we'll get the wee bottles for filling back up. Drain plug back in first, a nice new washer on it. You don't need to go overly tight with these, it's just a wee aluminium crush washer. That's perfect. Right guys, this is a bit you guys might need a hand pump for. Luckily we've got a compressor. So, I've drilled a hole in the top of the bottle. This hose is going to go up to the filler plug just there. Now the filler plug is also your level in your gearbox so when you start to see the oil trickle back out your gearbox is nice and full. Poke this. Oh, maybe not completely in but there we go. And a wee bit of compress there and this will start pumping the fluid up into the gearbox for us. Right, that's us all filled up. Just need to have a wee quick clean up, put the under tray back on. We'll get it done off of these axle stands and we'll go and get a wee try and see if the gearbox feels any better. Right guys, it's been a couple of days. We've been super busy. As you can see, we've knocked out yet another clutch, but we didn't show you that one because you've seen us do so many clutches in the past. But I have spoken to the subscriber with the MX-5 and this MT90 gear oil has completely cured every single fault on his Mazda MX-5 gearbox. I was a bit sceptical at first, um, but he took it for a couple of good long runs, and he has said the difference is night and day. There is no crunching between gears anymore, and the gearbox feels a lot smoother, third gear feels amazing. So this actually looks like it is the miracle cure for your MX-5 gearbox. What I've done, I've done a load of research, obviously we don't sell this on our website, but I've found the cheapest place in the UK to buy it, there's a place called OP Oils Imports It, they're no sponsor on the channel, I'll leave a link in the description below though, so you can go and get some for your MX-5, but they do that, and they were out of stock on this, but I found somewhere else that done the diff oil, um, so I'll leave links for both of them in the description, and just like I thought, the selector gate, that didn't really do anything. This is just the reverse gate. There's no chance of this wearing out, but it was there, so we've done it. But 
the main fix for the gearbox is the oil and it works a treat so if you've got an mx5 you've got some slipping gears and you've got some crunchy gears gearbox oil change it's the easiest way you put this in it and it fixes it other than that there's nothing else to say about that mx5 um charlie did we tell them about the other mx5 that we were working on the uh crashed one the crashed one yeah i don't know if we've told them about it yet no if we've not told you about it We've been up and done a bit of a temporary repair on a crashed MX-5 that we're going to show you. Uh, we've went up and made it roadworthy so we can bring it back down. Uh, I actually seen the wrong side of a tree, so there's a bit of damage needing fixed on that. The Audi TT, as you can see, it's in the workshop. We've got it broke up again, everything dropped down. It's about to go into primer, so there'll be a video coming out in this shortly. Uh, what else have we got going on, Charlie? We've got a massive, massive update on the Micra. But I'm not going to tell you guys now, we'll probably do a Remy video for that. Um, Audi video will be coming out next week. What Audi video? The steering rack. The steering rack video has been out, Charlie. No, it's still. Yes, yeah, it came out Wednesday. Look at this. Charlie's not even watching his own videos. <laughs> right, guys, so that's it for this video. Um, if you've not already subscribed, please, please, please hit that sub button. We're getting really, really close to 10,000 subs. I really thought we could get there by the summertime, but as you can see, Scottish summer has landed and we're not at 10,000 subs yet. And I know when I look at the analytics, more than 50% of the people that watch your videos every single week are not subscribed. So if you could just hit that subscribe button, make sure you've hit the notification bell, you'll get notified when all our videos come out. It'll give us more motivation to make cooler videos and just smash stuff out. We're going to do it anyway, whether we hit 10,000 or not, we're going to do it anyway, but... Uh, yeah, it would be nice to see 10,000, it would be nice to see the channel growing. Charlie's rolling his head back, because I'm obviously waffling. As always guys, thanks again for watching, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>